Jerome Powell. What's his role as Federal Reserve Chairman? Lately, we've been talking about everything that's going on in our economy. We've talked about inflation. We've covered possible recession and even the crash of the housing market. For the past couple of weeks, one powerful name has been seen on numerous newsstands. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell. Some people might be wondering who he is and what his responsibilities are. If you're wondering about that too, then make sure to stick around and watch the entire video. Who is Jerome Powell? Before we discuss his responsibilities as the Chairman of the Federal Reserve, let's get to know his background for a second. Powell was born and raised in the United States capital of Washington, D.C. He graduated from Princeton University with a bachelor's degree in politics in 1975 and from Georgetown University with a law degree in 1979. He was also the editor-in-chief of the Georgetown Law Journal during his stay at Georgetown. Before entering politics, he worked as a lawyer and investment banker in New York City. Powell as chairman of FOMC. Powell is currently the chairman of the Federal Open Market Committee, FOMC, a monetary policy-making body. He took over as chair on February 5, 2018. Although he's been a member of the Board of Governors since 2012, and his term on the board is until January 31, 2028. Before his appointment, he was a visiting scholar at the Bipartisan Policy Center in Washington, D.C. There he concentrated on both federal and state fiscal issues. Janet Yellen, who took over as chair under President Barack Obama in 2014, previously held the position until 2018. Powell was initially a partner at the Carlyle Group, a private investment company, and served as an assistant secretary and undersecretary of the Treasury during President George H.W. Bush's administration. The Federal Reserve Committee has 12 members and meets eight times a year to review the policies. These meetings are highly anticipated events in global markets. Choosing the Chair of the Board so, how do they actually choose who gets to be chairperson? The chair is chosen from among the Board of Governors' seven members. The president appoints the seven members of the Board of Governors, who are then confirmed by the Senate and specified in the Banking Act of 1935. Members of the Fed will then serve staggered 14-year terms and cannot be removed for their policy views. The president appoints a chair and vice chair, both of whom must be confirmed by the Senate. The chair and vice chair are appointed for four-year terms and can be reappointed only once. Duties of the chair To quote what Uncle Ben from Spider-Man said, With great power comes great responsibility, and he's definitely telling the truth. As the chair of the Federal Reserve, Powell is responsible for a lot of things. If you don't want to miss out on anything, make sure to keep watching this video. So let's talk about all the duties of Jerome Powell as the Chairman of the Federal Reserve. In a nutshell, the Chair of the Federal Reserve Board is the public face of the Federal Reserve Bank. Officially, the Chair is the Federal Reserve Board's active executive officer. The primary responsibility of the Chair is to carry out the Fed's mandate, which is to promote the goals of maximum employment, stable prices, and moderate long-term interest rates. At the Federal Reserve, we are strongly committed to achieving the monetary policy goals, maximum employment, and price stability. The Fed is made up of 12 Federal Reserve Banks located throughout the United States. The Fed's banks carry out the Fed's day-to-day -day operations and policies. Let's dive into details. But before we continue, go ahead and click the subscribe and like buttons. It takes a lot to make these videos. Your small actions tell YouTube to keep promoting our videos. Also. Tell us in the comment section what you think is the biggest responsibility of Fed's chairman. Thanks. Now back to the video. According to statute, the chair is required to testify before Congress twice a year on topics such as the Federal Reserve's monetary policy and aims. You know, I think monetary policy starts to bite uh, it, it, on inflation and on, and on growth. Uh a regular meeting with the Treasury Secretary, who is also a member of the President's cabinet, is held by the chairperson as well. One of the most essential responsibilities of the chair is to act as the chair of the Federal Open Markets Committee, FOMC, which is in charge of establishing short-term monetary policy in the United States. 
when it comes to the salary of the chair, it is determined by Congress. What is FOMC? The Federal Open Market Committee, FOMC, is part of the Federal Reserve that meets eight times a year and is comprised of the seven members of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System, as well as the five reserve presidents of the Fed. The president of the New York Reserve Bank serves on an indefinite basis, while the presidents of the other four banks rotate regularly. At its meetings, the Federal Open Market Committee, FOMC, determines short-term monetary policy using its main monetary tools, including the federal funds rate, the discount rate, and the purchasing and selling of government assets. How does the federal funds rate work? While we're on the subject, people have been talking about the recent increase in federal funds rates approved by Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell. How does it work and what does it imply for us consumers? The federal funds rate is the interest rate at which member banks lend each other money held overnight at the Fed. It is the key interest rate for the U.S. economy because it serves as the base rate for all other interest rates. Borrowing money becomes more expensive as the federal funds rate rises. The pandemic compelled the FOMC to lower the federal funds rate to 0.25%, effectively zero at its March 15, 2020 meeting, from a rate of 1 to 1.25% set on March 3, 2020. Many, many on the committee uh, thought it would be appropriate for there to be one or more 50 basis point hike. However, the Federal Reserve recently raised its key short-term interest rate by half a percentage point, the largest increase since 2000, and hinted that more big moves could be on the way as officials try to contain a historic spike in inflation. According to Powell, there is broad agreement among Fed policymakers that additional rate hikes should be on the table at the next couple of meetings. This is the Fed's way of adjusting to the continuous inflation brought by the pandemic. This, of course, is expected to have a cascading effect on the economy, raising interest rates on credit cards, home equity lines of credit, and adjustable rate mortgages, among other loans. At the same time, after years of negligible returns, Americans, particularly seniors, should begin to benefit from higher bank savings rates. While Powell stated that the Fed will not consider a three-quarter point hike at any given meeting, he made it clear that the Fed will not hesitate to raise rates sharply throughout the year to tame inflation. Is that the only thing that the Federal Reserve's chairman is overseeing? Nope. Quantitative easing, QE. Apart from managing the federal funds rate, the FOMC is also responsible for buying and selling government treasuries to increase and decrease the money supply as needed. If you can recall the 2008 financial crisis, the Fed implemented the largest economic stimulus in history by purchasing massive amounts of U.S. Treasuries and Mortgage-Backed Securities, or MBS. The program, known as Quantitative Easing, QE, increased the Fed's balance sheet by approximately $3.5 trillion. This program, however, ended in 2014. However, during the start of the pandemic last March 2020, Quantitative easing was once again used as a key tool. It began tapering its quantitative easing asset purchases in November 2021 and stated at the January 26, 2022 meeting. The other thing you can do is you just go buy those securities, buy longer-term securities. That will drive down longer-term rates. Putting it all together, to sum it up, Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Federal Reserve is in charge of carrying out the Federal Reserve's directives, including meeting and testifying before Congress, monitoring and managing interest rates, and promoting maximum employment. Although the Fed chair has enormous power, there is no direct order from the president because the Fed is independent. The chair is widely regarded as one of the most powerful positions in the world, and any change in long-term interest rates has a significant economic impact that ripples through all global markets.